In this week's parsha, the pasuk says, "V'loy karav ze el ze kol halayla." The Bnei Yisrael, when they were being chased by the Mitzrim, "V'loy karav ze el ze kol halayla," the Mitzrim did not have the ability to come close to Klal Yisrael. There's a famous Gemara in Megillah Daf Yudam Beis. The Gemara says, "Bikshu malache hashares loy marshira." At the time of Kriyas Yamsuf, the Malachi Asharis wanted to say Shira, and the Gemara says, Amr HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Rabbi Nishalaylam said, Maisai Yodai Toivim Bayam. Uh, my, the work of my hands are drowning in the sea, Ba'atem Aymrim Shira. And the Gemara says, therefore the Malachim did not say Shira. The way most people understand this Gemara is that the Malachim wanted to say a specific, unique Shira on Kriyas Yamsuf. However, Rabbi Yainas and Eibshitz and Yaretz Dvash in Jewish Dalid interprets this Gemara differently. Rabbi Yainas and Eibshitz says that the Shira of the Yom, of the day of the Malachim, is Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. The Shira of the Laila, of night, is Baruch Hashem HaMvayrach Le'olam Vayed. Says Rabbi Yainas and Eibshitz, the Malachim wanted to say the Shira of that night at the time of Kriyas Yamsuf, and the Rabbi Nishalaylam HaKadosh Baruch Hu did not allow them to say the Shira of that night. And that is what it means, Bikshu Lai Mershira on Amr HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Maisa Yodai Taivim Bayam Ba'atam Aymrim Shira. Says Rabbi Yainis and Aibshitz, there's a Gemara in Sanhedrin, Daf Tzadik Dalit. The Gemara says, Yisroi said, Baruch Hashem Asher Hitzil Eschem, Miyad Mitzrayim, Miyad Paroi. Darash Rev Papayas, Rev Papayas Darshan. Genayhu l'moisha u'l'shishim riboy shaloi amru baruch Hashem ad sheba Yisrael. It was a genai, it was a chesar, and it was a tvi, it was a taina on the Bnei Yisrael that they did not say baruch Hashem until Yisrael came around. And Yisrael said baruch Hashem. Says Rabbi Yainis and Eibshitz, what does it mean it was a genai? So Rabbi Yainis and Eibshitz explains that since the malachim were supposed to have said the shira of baruch Hashem and vayrach, baruch Hashem and vayrach le'elam vayet, and it was missing, that shira was missing, Klal Yisrael and Moshe Rabbeinu should have felt, should have, should have capitalized on the opportunity to say an extra shira to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He describes how the entire world, the stars, all the celestial beings, the moon, the sun, all the tzva HaShemayim is controlled and is, and is operate and, is, and moves based on the shira of the Malachim. Zakhtar B'Yanis and Aibshitz, there was a shira missing to B'nai Yisrael, could have been Zaycha to say an extra shira that the Malachim didn't say, and they didn't say it. That was Gnaihu Lamaishu Li Yisrael Ulushishim Ribun. And that's what Yisrael capitalized on. Yisrael recognized that there was a missing shira, and Yisrael said shira. Zakhtar B'Yanis and Aibshitz, he says that our shira that we say is the, is the Shachris in the morning, we say Shema Yisrael Hashem Aleikeinu Hashem Echad. Writes Rabbi Yenis and Aibshitz, when the Malachim come to say Shira, when they come to say their Shira HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Gemara describes how it's a tremendous Ema and Yira, and there's a danger to the Malachim that they'll get burned by the fire, by the Eish, the Eish HaGadayla Lamayla. He says, Kol Shekein V'Kavu a person comes to Beis HaKnesses to say Kriyashma, to Davan HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to say our Shira, how much awe we should have, how we should feel when we enter a Beis HaKnesses. The awe, the inspiration that we should feel that we're coming to say Shira to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We're getting, we're ha- we have an opportunity to say the Shira which controls the entire world. All the celestial beings, everything in the world is controlled by that Shira that we say. He says somebody who utilizes the opportunity to say Shira is Eichet to tremendous Shefa, to tremendous Bracha. And Chas v'shalom, somebody who it does not utilize that opportunity, Fakert, that can cause that a person is missing out on the Shefa. There's an interesting tshuva in the Maram Merutenberg. The Maram Merutenberg brings down many of the cherims the Rabbeinu Gershem. Of the more famous ones is the cherim, not to marry a second wife, not to divorce a woman, Balkarcha, the famous cherim, not to open somebody else's mail. A cherim that is not so well known, that's brought down in the tshuvas in the end of the tshuvas Maram Merutenberg, is a cherim shaloy ledaber bebeis haknesses. Rabbeinu Gershem was misakin with a cherim that a person comes into a shul even not during davening should not speak in a Beis HaKnesses. According to Rabbi Yenis and Eibshitz, it's very easy to understand. A Beis HaKnesses is a place where we, get the, where we have the opportunity to say a Shira HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which controls the entire world, revolves around that Shira. It's obvious, Eibazai, that a person should be Zayar not to speak in a Beis HaKnesses. The Yavitz continues and he says that in the Pasuk it says, Bochei Sibka Balayla V'demasa Alechya, referring to the Churban, a person cries, Bachay Sibka, the Almana, the Bnei Yisrael, cries, the Demoy is around her cheeks. 
He says, why does it mention cheeks? He says, the Gemara in Chul and Daf Kuvdalad says that the Bnei Yisrael, the Kahanim were Zaychat Hizrael, Chayayim Vakeva Lechayayim, is because Pinchas was Vayamoy Pinchas Vayifalo, because he davened. He says, what is, so what do we see? Lechayayim, the cheeks, has to do with the Kayach of Tefillah. He says, why? Because the mouth is a kli, is a vessel which HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us, which is miyuchid for davening. He says the churban bayis rishon was the bayis rishon was nechrav because bnei Israel were missing that kesher takarish baruchu. They didn't turn takarish baruchu. He writes that they didn't daven takarish baruchu properly. They were in zohir in tefila. And he says even the churban bayis was really just an extension of the churban bayis rishon. He says that's why it says sibka balayla double lashin that the bechia of the second korban was really a bechia on the first korban keisha al eshes al keisha al bal neureha like a woman on the husband of her youth of her first husband she cries still because really we're crying we're still in gullus because of what caused the korban by Yisrishin. Continues Rabbi Yehonas and Eibshitz he says there's a pasuk in Eicha which refers to what the chasaron of tefillah of Klal Yisrael was sachaisa ba'anon lach me'avar tefillah. Zok, Rabbi Yenis and Eibshitz, what is Sakaisa about on on Loch Me'avar Tefillah? There's a cloud that prevents the Tefillah from going up. Zok, Rabbi Yenis and Eibshitz, just like we find in the Gemara, the Gemara says there's something, there's a concept of Hevel PM, Shel Tinoike, Shel Beis Rabbam. There's the Hevel PM, there's the, the, the moisture of the mouth, of the words of Tinoike, Shel Beis Rabbam, which brings about the Geula. He writes that the words that are spoken in a Beis HaKnesses, the Dvarim Betelim, the Sicha Betelim that's spoken in a shul, and especially during davening, he writes, it creates a cloud. Those words become a cloud. Sachaisa ba'anon loch me'avar tefillah. That anon, that cloud, prevents the tefillah from going up to Shamayim. Writes Rabbi Yenis and Eibshitz, what could a person do when you have this cloud preventing the tefillahs from going up, the cloud of the words that are generated, the cloud of the, the cloud that is generated by the words of Dvarim Betelim that are spoken, what could a person do Zakhtar B'yanis and Eibshitz, if a person comes to shul and he davens and earns the tefillah and he's zayir not to talk during davening and he makes up and he decides that I am going to daven without talking during davening. I'm going to properly be mechabit with the Beis HaKnesses. I'm going to be noyig with the proper covet for a Beis HaKnesses and covet at tefillah. He says those tefillahs slice through the crowd and they take with them all the other tefillahs. They, they schlep along all the other tefillahs that were being prevented by going up through the cloud. And all the tefillahs go up together with it. What should come out according to Rabbi Yenis and Eibshitz is that somebody who's Zoyer, not to speak during davening, not only does he have his own schus, and not only is he Zoycha to the Shira, to say the Shira of the Malachim, and not only does he have this great Kiddush Hashem of being Zoyer and covered Beis HaKnesses, which is definitely from the greatest schus a person can have, but he will be Zoycha to have other tefillahs go up with his tefillahs. His tefillahs will be accompanied by hundreds and thousands of other tefillahs that were held back by the cloud. So great is the schus of somebody who is Zoyer in Kedusha Space Haknesis. Halavai, we should be Zoycha to be medakdek, to appreciate what a base Haknesis is, the, the Migdash Ma'at that a base Haknesis is, to be Zoyer, not just to be Nizer from talking during davening, and not just to be Zoyer, to refrain from talking Ben Gavra Le Gavra, and at other times where there's a Hisrashlus. But if we're Zoycha to be Zoyer, not to talk in a base Haknesis at all, to properly respect the Kedushas Beis HaKnesses, show the proper respect for the Sviva that the Beis HaKnesses is, it will turn into a Mikdash Ma'at, and will taka be Zaycha, that that will taka bring the Geula, that will bring us Mashiach, that will be Mesaka in the Chet, that caused the Churban Abayis, and will be Zaycha that our Abate Knesiyos will go to Eretz Yisrael with the real, with the, with the Mikdash, with the Mikdash Hashem, and all the Mikdash Ma'ats will be together in Yerushalayim, together with the Mikdash, with the Mikdash Hashem in the Schus of our Zahiros in proper covered Beis HaKnesses and proper covered Atfilah.